Hello everybody, my name is Sergei Novikov and I work in Kaspersky Lab and um, today we are going to talk about AV testing. Let's imagine that I'm not a Kaspersky Lab employee but a simple user who needs to buy an antivirus solution. So today we have a special guest, a well-known expert from uh, United States, Boston, Mr. Ruel Schoenberg. Hi, Sergey. Hello, Mr. Royal. So, can you tell me how uh, should I choose antivirus solution? Do I believe in uh, some tests or not? What What is your recommendation? Well, to believe in tests or not, that's uh, indeed a very good question. I think it is important for users to believe in testing. Uh, because how else are you going to make a decision what product to buy? By the color of the box? I mean, I like green, I like white, don't we all? Sure. Uh, but of course, a user wants to make an informed decision. What will really protect me from cyber criminals using my credit card for their Porsche or, or something like that? Um, so, testing is a, it's a very big thing. Uh, the big problem, however, is that the tests have, are outdated, the majority of them. So it's very hard to put trust in them. So what I mean with an outdated test is that for the past 20 years, um, testing has been the same. Um, basically, it, it comprises of getting a large collection of samples, maybe half a million or one million, just to sound very impressive, and scan them and see how many files are detected. So maybe one product scores 98%, the other product scores 99%, but it basically is, is meaningless to, to a large extent, because it, it does not really help you. So what should I do? What, what should I do? What, where should I go? What should I read? What do you think? Well, I think the, um, that the important thing is that with the thre current threat landscape is to look into so-called um, whole product testing. Um, so this is a type of testing where uh, threats are being introduced into the system like they would in a real life si a situation. So if you are using uh, Facebook and you suddenly get a message saying, hey, please click on this link, then the, um, the tester should really basically go to this link and see which uh, component of the anti-malware product is able to catch um, the threat. Because just, scan, uh, just testing the AV engine is just one component of many these days. I see. And uh, maybe is there any solution for tests or not? And uh, what is uh, proactive testing now? Uh, well, uh, some time ago, uh, when the industry, the AV industry, together with the testers, really started to realize, hey, we have all these additional components that really should be tested because these tests are really getting outdated. And the AV industry, together with testers, academia, and publishers, came together and formed the AMTSO, the Anti Malware Testing Standards Organization. And together, we have been very busy creating standards and guidelines on uh, well, what general measures to uh, take with testing, as well as more specified documents uh, on, let's say, cloud testing or dynamic testing. Some people call it proactive testing, and on how to best um, do that. Um, so we have made these documents available for testers as well as users. So we've really uh, made an effort to make it very understandable so that users can see uh, if these tests uh, that they are reading, if they are AMTS, if they're like following the AMTSO standards. And, and if they are, then the test is uh, very likely to be of a significantly higher quality than something that is not following test. I mean, tests need to be transparent. If you just say we scan one million samples and this is the detection rate, it is meaningless. So, um, I see. So when should I expect some changes? When should this uh, documentations will be implemented? Um, I think we started to see the first changes in the AV testing landscape in 2009, but I think this year, 2010, it will really take off with um, uh, also, uh, avtest.org, av comparatives for moving more to doing this dynamic testing rather than just on-demand testing. So that that will really be go good for users to make a more informed decision. I see. So maybe can you summarize somehow for a simple user, maybe some advice? What should we do to find out which product is better, which antivirus solution is better? 
Well, I think it's um, important for one, well, to look at the AMTSO guidelines, and secondly, it is important to look for consistency. Uh, tests tend to fluctuate, and one of the disadvantages currently with proactive testing is that they only test a limited amount of samples. So the results can vary, but so the most important thing is basically to look at a number of different tests and see who is consistently ranking very high and uh, make a decision off of that. But uh, some people also need uh, like a nice uh, graphic user interface, for instance, and they have some preference. So uh, of course they should also take that into account. Thank you, Mr. Royal. Thank you for your advices. Maybe now I will not buy antivirus solution because of its color, but I will read some papers, some sites, some, some tests, and find out which is better and why. Thank you very much and see you soon.